The crowd grew loud as Windsor Star Editor-in-Chief Marty Benito passed the keys from the paper's former home to University of Windsor President Alan Wildman this past Friday. The building on the corner of Pitt and Ferry will be redesigned as the university's School of Social Work while still maintaining its old facade. This is part of an initiative to bring more students into the downtown core. Damian Boyko said he hadn't heard about the event till he happened to walk by. I uh, never knew about it, walked by and decided to come down here to see what's, what's going on and I think it's pretty cool. A variety of entertainers were on hand, including a live band, the Stilt Guys and the Lancer mascot. Tim Hortons donated coffee to the event and a bus was on hand to ferry participants to and from the university. Traffic branch sergeant Michael Fontaine said this is a historic event and one that is good for the community. Uh, a lot of years of history with this building, uh, with it, uh, the, the handing the keys over to the University of Windsor is uh, it's good for the community, it's, uh, it's great for the city. QP were also present at the event. Representative Tom Dean said they were concerned with the work that's going to be involved in these buildings as they would be on the regular campus. Uh, basically, we just want a presence here. Uh, we were told that basically we're all, all part of the uh, university family and they wanted us all down. And right now, at this point in the game, when they're contracting our jobs out, we don't feel like a whole lot of members of the family, and we just wanted a presence. Similar events like this one will happen in the new year, as the University of Windsor takes possession of the downtown armories and old bus depot. For MediaPlex News Now, I'm Alice Hewitt.